Hey guys, Budcat7 here. Um, today we're going to start a series of videos debunking the mainstream academic history of the stone walls in New England. And I'm going to try to keep these videos as short as possible and attack one specific thing at a time because there's just way too much material here. Okay, so... Today we're going to really look at um, the 1872 Department of Agriculture Geological Survey, um, which is mentioned, by the way, in all of these books, Susan Allport, Sermon in Stones, Robert Thorson, Stone by Stone, and uh, The Granite Kiss here by Kevin Gardner. Now, this book by Kevin Gardner is basically a how-to book, and there's a lot of how-to books out there on stone wall building, and in a lot of these how-to books, they mention some history before they go into it, and they do it in, in all of these books. But um, there's something funny about that. And by the way, if you look online and try to find um, the information that you can find in any one of these books, they're only putting half of it in there. And basically the half that they're putting in there now, and you can't find it, it's missing from all of these articles. And even on some of the alternative sites, that you know they don't include it in there, which I think is a mistake. And I'm going to show you why today, okay? So in any case, in that 1872 Department of Agriculture Geological Land Survey, they determined that there was 240,000 miles of stone walls in New England and that it would take 15,000 men 247 years working 365 days a year to complete these walls. So, you know, obviously this is meant to be an exaggeration to um, impress upon everybody the scope of the work and how you know intense it was, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what I'm going to tell you here today is that they put that number out there and these facts out there to minimize it. Okay, and it's just very curious to me that now you can't really find out that information anywhere and. Um, here, even in uh, this Wikipedia article on uh, Fieldstone Walls, they're using Thorson, Robert Thorson, as the, you know, uh, expert on, on this subject, which I, I find very funny. But um, in any case, you know, this is what the Geological Survey came up with, and... Um, there's something a little funny about this. I think that they put this stuff out here to minimize it. And I think that it's missing from a lot of these articles now because they don't want people to think about it too much because it's a very impressive number. And I think what people say, oh, wow, 15,000 men, 247 years, 365. Wow, that's, that's, that's crazy, huh? Uh, pass the ketchup, you know. Let's take a little bit closer look at this. Now, does anybody here think that in uh, the 1600s and 1700s that 15,000 men would be able to work 365 days a year, um, 24 hours a day? Well, that's, I'm missing that in there, but, you know, that was included in there, too. Let's put it in there. 24 hours a uh, Day. Otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So anyway, 15,000 men, 247 years, working 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, okay? So do you really think 15,000 men could work uh, 365 days a year, even if they were working one year? You know, what did they go down to ye old tool rental shop and get some floodlights to do to, I mean, no, okay? So first of all, Let's put it in more realistic terms, okay? So 15,000 men, if they could even work 247 years, they're not working 365 days a year and they're not working 24 hours a day. So let's put it in more simple terms. Let's, let's say that they only work 12 hours a day, okay? So that would immediately double our number 
as far as how many years it would take then to do it. So here you go. You got 247 years times 2. That's 494 years, 12 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay? So you got 494 years for these 15,000 men to build these walls. Okay? So... Um, we're going to look at it a little bit deeper. Let's say, um, uh, for example, all these men, uh, especially you know, all these people at that time were extremely religious people. They're probably not going to be working any Sundays. Okay, I mean, you can look at the histories of uh, United States, America, and you can see, you know, back in those days, the people were extremely religious, and nobody was working on any Sundays unless it was an extreme emergency or something like that. So, they're not doing that. So, we're going to have to take all those Sundays out of there, and what happens is, is that it adds to our number. The more days you take out the more time it's going to take to build. So you got 494 years times the 52 days, the 52 Sundays. That's going to take you to 25,688 days, 856 months, and it's approximately 71 years, okay? So we're going to take uh, 71 years, 494 plus 71. So now we're at 565 years. So it would take 15,000 men, 565 years not working on Sundays to complete the 240,000 miles of walls or 500,000 miles of walls according to Barbara DeLong. Okay? 565 years. Okay? But, you know, this is the Northeast here and we have some pretty severe winters around here. Not like in the center of the country, but we do have some pretty severe winters. So during those months, you know, February, you know, January, February, you know, in that area there, you're probably not going to be doing much of anything except chopping wood and trying to keep warm and eating all the food that you grow. And remember, these are subsistence farmers that did all this work subsistence farmers poor people renting property off of people and you know when i ran a house over here i always altered the property by putting up fences and you know altering the the house you know give me a break okay you're renting out property um, I think you got to clear it with the landlord before you start building walls all over the place. Okay, so in any case, you're not going to be working those 60 days approximately in the winter months. So we're going to have to add that on. That's another 33,900 days, 1130 months, and approximately 94 years. And, you know, guys, if my math is wrong or whatever, you know, step in. These are all approximate numbers. There's some decimal points there and whatnot, and I'm not even including that stuff, okay? So you got... Another 94 years tacked on there. So 659 years. How about that? How about that? So you got 15,000 men working 659 years without Sundays and without the winter months, okay? 12 hours a day, okay? So 659 years, guys, okay? And isn't this a bit more impressive? than the numbers that the geological survey gave, okay? If you really want to impress somebody, why, why use this right here? 15,000 men, 247 years. Use my number. It's a bit more impressive, don't you think? Well, you know, I think they're leaving this information out. And like I said, if you look around on the internet, you know, I, I you know, looked at any number of things just today alone. And that little piece of information there, the 15,000 men, 247 years, is missing from all of these. And I kind of wonder why. Because, you know, my guess is, is that, first of all, they put that number out there um, to minimize it because they couldn't explain it. They couldn't explain it back then. 
And so without going into a sort of realistic study of the thing, they just put this out to sort of wow people and sort of, you know, truncated thing here without explaining much or anything like that or uh, extrapolating or elaborating on anything. So this is the number that I think it put out there. And I mean, look, you could probably even think of, of more days that, you know, they, these people had to work. They had to farm. They had to do, a, a, you know, other stuff. They couldn't be building stone walls all the time. You know, I don't care how many months out of the year they could work. So this number is probably a more realistic figure there. And you can see by this, it's it's starting to get really out of hand. Um, it's starting to get quite inexplicable. And I think they're leaving that all out intentionally now. And, you, you know, use your own judgment. You guys figure it out. You know, you guys are into this stuff. Think about it. Just think about it. That's all I'm asking you. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But this is the figure that they put out, and it's obvious that 15,000 men wearing buckled shoes and whatnot were not working 247 years, 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. I'm sorry. That's complete fantasy. And that's what this mainstream academic history is. It's nothing but an infantile romantic fantasy based on Robert Frost poetry and a bunch of nonsense okay so this is what you're going to be handed a bunch of nonsense by thorson here ding dong over here oh this is a two-hander well let me tell you kevin gardner here whose family's been in that business for centuries now generations okay he says in his book which i read Okay, that the stones, the average stones in a stone wall weigh 65 to 75 pounds. Okay, so I don't care whether you're using work animals or a fulcrum and lever or whatever you're using there, the stones still have to be handled at, by a human being at some point along the process, if not several times a, a, along the process, okay? So what I want to do is I want to set up Kevin here, and we're going to set up Mr. Thorson here, and we're going to set up Susan Allport down at my local Gold's Gym here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Susan, I'm going to give you, okay, a 65-pound easy curl bar. Okay, so you could have an easy curl bar, okay, and these guys here, okay, I'll give Robert an easy curl bar, and I'll give Kevin an easy curl bar, and we're going to, we'll give them easy curl bars with 75 pounds, because that's what Kevin says here, they're 65 to 75 pounds, so we'll give Kevin the 75 pound, we'll give Ding Dong here, Thorson, the uh, 75 pound easy curl bar, and we'll give Susan the a 65 pound easy curl bar and then we're going to have them work out with the easy curl bar with the 65 and 75 pounds 12 hours six days a week okay every day you guys will come down to gold's gym and you're going to pick up the easy curl bar with the 65 and 75 pounds and you're just going to do that 12 hours you're going to 12 hours, 75 pounds, 12 hours of curling, 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 curling. And we'll see, you know, if you could do that. And I guess if you could do that, um, hey, it's no problem. We just build stone walls and have a big party and uh, sure, no problem. Okay? So, okay, guys, that's it. That's just all I wanted to throw out to you today. Think about it. Think about this nonsense, this stupid number that they gave out here to minimize the work. That's what they wanted to do, folks. That's what I'm telling you here today. It's quite obvious. They wanted to minimize it. This is the real number, guys. 15,000 men working 659 years without Sundays and without the winter months to build all these stone walls. You think they could do it? I don't think so, pal. Okay? We don't even know what the uh, uh, 
numbers of people living out there in the 1600s and all that kind of stuff. How many people do you think? What do you think the population was? Everybody lived in major cities just like they do today. And, of course, there were more people out um, in the agrarian societies, uh, in doing agriculture, subsistence farmers. There were more people, certainly, back then doing it on smaller plots of land, but that's just it, on smaller plots of land. So there's slightly more people, okay? So, you know, if you were lucky, you were a subsistence farmer, you're lucky you had, you know, three or four kids that were male to help you out, but I guess if you were just brand new, married, and you didn't have any kids yet, you're going to have to get out there and do that all by yourself. Do you think they could do it? I don't think so, okay? So anyway, guys, think about it a little bit. Think about what I said, and uh, pretty soon I'll do another video when we'll uh, go step by step debunking all the silly, infantile, romanticized nonsense that they're trying to present to us as some sort of history of the stone walls in New England. Okay, guys? And uh, by the way, I'm also going to um, put some links... Um, to uh, a new New Earth video, um, Sylvia just came out one, with one about the sun, which is just crazy, you gotta see that one, and also by, um, one by this guy, John O'Shaughnessy, he wrote a couple of books, one about the pyramids and gravitational lensing, so, um, that's an interesting video. He's an interesting guy. Check out those videos. I mean, you know, they're related in a way to this field of study. But um, just as a sidebar, I'm going to put those in the links here. And I'll also put in um, a link um, to this article um, in Wikipedia, which is kind of silly. So, uh, all right, guys. Till the next time. Keep up the faith, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.